Hello and welcome back to Titan Academy. In this video, we will explain the prerequisites for setting up and generating a Titan document generation project or a Titan sign project in Titan. We will cover how to install the Word add-in, how to install the Titan App Exchange application in Salesforce, how to grant Salesforce user permissions, how to allow and apply document generation and API permissions, and how to grant collaborators permissions to Titan projects. These applications that we will install in Word and in Salesforce are free. They are no charge and come with your Titan subscription. Let's start in Microsoft Word. First, you will need to install the Microsoft Titan add-in. In Word, go to the Insert menu, go to Get Add-ins, search for Form Titan, there are two Titan add-ins. The applicable add-in is the one entitled Form Titan Salesforce Composer. Click Add to add this to your Microsoft Word. You will be asked to confirm. Click Continue. You will now see that the Form Titan menu option has been added. If you select this and then select the Form Titan logo on the far left, this window over on the right will open. Click on Let's Start to get signed in to your Titan environment. From here, log in to Titan. You can log in using either Salesforce credentials or your Titan credentials. So I'll log in here. Once you've signed in, if you have more than one Titan environment, you will be asked to verify which environment you wish to use. Most of the time, you will just have one, so you won't see this step, and you will be taken directly to the sign-in. From here, build your Titan document generation or Titan sign project, preview it, and then publish it to your Titan dashboard. Next, go to your Titan account in a web browser, log in, you will see your dashboard. From here, go to settings. Here, you will want to add a Salesforce integration. On the integrations tab, click the authenticate button next to Salesforce. This is already set up. Your button will say authenticate, then put in the username and password of the user that you wish to use as the Titan integration user. Once that is done, go to document generation. Here, you will find a link to the latest Titan managed package on the Salesforce App Exchange. Go ahead and click on that link. That will open up the App Exchange listing. Click get it now. You may be asked to log into your trailblazer.me account. Go ahead and do that. Then from the installation screen that comes up in just a second, from this installation screen, you will need to choose which of your production environments or sandbox in which you want to install the Titan Managed Package. I'm going to choose a production environment. Click Install in Production. Go ahead and read the terms and conditions. Confirm your understanding. Then click Confirm and Install. You will then be redirected from here. Log into your Salesforce environment. Once the installation is complete, click on Done. And here in the Installed Packages section of Setup, you can verify that the Form Titan package has been installed. Now let's take a look at Titan permission sets. In the Setup, search for permission sets. The two applicable permission sets that come in the Titan Managed Package are Titan User and Titan User Community. Use the Titan user community permission set to grant access to Titan to any of your Salesforce users who are community users. And for any users who are regular Salesforce users who need access to Titan, use the Titan user permission set. Go into the permission set, click on manage assignments, click add assignment, and then from here, pick the users to whom you want to grant access to Titan. For example, I'll choose one user, click Next, put our settings here, we'll leave this with no expiration date, click Assign, and now that user has been granted full access to the Titan objects from the Titan Managed Package and Salesforce. For community users, do the same steps using the Titan Community User Permission Set. Now that the package is installed and you've assigned permissions accordingly, let's configure the rest of your Titan account. Go back into the Titan dashboard. From here, you will need to enable API access. Go to the API tab. 
Verify that allow API access is enabled. If it is not, enable it. You will need to grant at minimum API access to objects and submissions. You can add themes, general statistics, reports, and users if you'd like, but at minimum, API access to objects and submissions is required. Next, go to the document generation tab. Here, you will see some custom settings that need to be applied in Salesforce setup a private URL, remote site settings, and a CSP trusted site. You can apply them directly from here as long as API access is enabled, the managed package is installed, and the logged in user has these permissions. Click apply and you should get a success message. If you get an error message, that means that the integration is not set up or that the managed package is not installed or that the user does not have permissions to customize the settings of Salesforce. Finally, you will need to set up some collaborators in your Titan account. Go to my account, go to the users tab, and in the collaborators section, click assign and add one or more groups of collaborators. These are the users who you will grant permissions to use different Titan document generation or Titan sign projects from within your Salesforce environment. You can select specific users, you can select Salesforce profiles or permission sets. As an example, I'll just use the system administrator profile. Click next. Here you will see a list of your Titan forms or Titan documents and your Titan sign projects. Select from the options in these two tabs, the Titan doc gen and Titan sign projects to which you want to grant this group of collaborators access. Let's say we want to select both of these and for our sign projects, we want to give the sign permissions on sign a quote. Adding collaborators is important because if you do not add a user or that user's permission set or profile as a collaborator on a Titan document generation or Titan sign project, that user will not see that document generation or sign project available to them in the list of Titan projects in Salesforce. Go ahead and click finish. And now you have set up a group of collaborators. These are the basics of setting up and configuring a Titan docs or Titan sign process in Titan. Thanks for watching.